$400,000 is a pretty sight, ain't it? I still think sending it through the stagecoach may be a mistake. It's too much money. Uh, well, I wouldn't worry. It'll have enough protection to keep it safe from here to Springwood. What time is it? 6.15. Let's go. Is the stage outside already? Yeah. You better make sure nobody's passing by out there. That's been done. Come on. Pardon me, my brother, but could I ask you to kindly take it? Eh, no. Pardon me, my son, but could I kindly... Aha! <laughs> A perfect reading. Now for the rest of the lines. Father Mabry of Springwood, that holy man, is waiting anxiously for these religious books. He must consult them for his Easter service, you see, and unforeseen duties of the cloth keep me here in Jacksonville. Would you please take them into Springwood? Six, seven, eight. Good. By eight, they should be halfway there. Here's the mail pouch. Keep your eye on it. There's a letter to my sister with a dollar inside. Good morning, Mrs. Carey. Mr. Carey, I had your bags put on top. Uh-huh. You want to give me that one, too? No, no, thank you. We'll keep that bag. I put in a small lunch for my husband and I. Bring it with you. <laughs> Remember, this time I want a window seat. Yesterday I was terribly yes, uncomfortable. Yes, of course. Just a minute, Jeremiah Carey. I prefer to ride in the center. Brum, you just said you wanted to get a seat by the window at this time, didn't you? All men are like that. <laughs> they never listen. Everything all right up there? Yeah. There's a long road ahead of us. Let's go. Ah Hey, look, ain't that the reverend who traveled with us yesterday? Yeah. Pardon me. Uh, could I ask you, would you kindly take these to Springwood? They're books for Father Mabry. He picked them up himself. I'll put them with the mail. Oh, thank you, my son. Uh, how much will the charge be? A dollar. Well, forget it, reverend. Put it in the poor box with my compliments. God will reward you. 
I regret that I can't continue on this journey with you. Have yourself a good trip, folks. You're smart, Reverend, to remain here. The seats on the stagecoach are so horrible. We'll be torn to shreds by the time the coach gets us to our destination. Before that, I'm afraid. What? Uh, uh, oh, nothing. May God be with you. <laughs> Let's go, Mike. Goodbye, Reverend. I hope you God bless you, my son. Thank you. You don't scare me.
Ah, <laughs> a pretty jewel. This is for Azaria. What's this? Books. Christian, I never stole anything before, just a few things here and there. Until today, I never held up a stagecoach before, Father. Oh, I'd been punished, the lightning of God came down and struck me. What did you take, boy? The mailbag, Father, and this. Father, Father, if you ever get to Hickland, ask for Rosario. She is my girl. And tell her, please wear this to remember Moses by. Father, I'm dying. Give me your blessing. Certainly, my son. With the right hand or the left. Oh, anything, Father, but hurry. All right, then. Oh. <coughs> well, what kind of priest are you? I'll show you what kind of a priest I am. Hey, amigo, what will you gain out of hanging me? Well, in the first place, because of you, I lost $400,000. And then, well, hanging has always been a kind of hobby with me, ever since I had to leave the stage. Hanging me isn't going to get you back the money, my friend. Yea, verily, and yet I will have my pound of flesh. Pound of who? I'll never get it back. By now it's in the Springwood Bank, in the strongest safe in the West. Springwood! I know all about Springwood. Every morning before opening time, the banker unlocks the safe. At the same time, the sheriff stands guard outside. The safe is only open for three minutes, no more. You can't do anything about it, not with guns or dynamite. And that's why I'm hanging you, Knave. And the sooner I get the hell on thy horse, the sooner I get this the hell over with. Wait a minute. Too bad. I know how to get the money. <laughs> ah, go ahead. But just remember, if you have the guts enough to try it, you'll get what you want. I know. Bartle's right. For a fellow who's just passing through, Springwood's sure giving you a hell of a welcome. <laughs> Go right ahead, Conchita. He's winning everything tonight. How lucky can you get? Your deal, Bartle. Let's play it. Two hundred to get in. There's mine. You've been doing all right, but your luck is bound to change. Pots are going to be mine from now on. It's possible. Luck is blind.
double the pot, Mr. Clay. I'll raise you to 5,000. Ah, uh, not for me. Kajita, you're on. I must go now. Too bad you bring me luck. <laughs> no. Too much for me. And for me. I call. Full house. That's four full houses in a row. A person that'd have to be awfully blind to believe that luck is the only thing you rely on. It's not a question of luck at all, my friend. As a matter of fact, it's easy as pie to beat an amateur like you. German composer. Yeah, take a look at this. Two Mark Daces. Poor Bartle. Never could play it straight. Never expected you to be so fast with a gun. It's a good way to stay alive. Oh, we need a new deck of cards. There are some aces that are marked from this one, no? Good night. Make that good morning instead. It's 5 a.m. <laughs> huh. You're finished for the evening? Yes. Have a good game? When the bank opens in the morning, these pieces of paper will be worth $130,000. Mm. You like milk? Yes, I do. 
I have a cow in my room. <laughs> Covet not thy neighbor's cow, nor his horse, or his ass, or whatever. Covet not the filthy lucre which reeks of man's irreparable sin. Covet not the stinking gold which fouls the pure in spirit. Children of Satan, the wrath of God awaits you unless you heed his true word. For those who turn their ear from his voice, they also turn their souls from salvation. They shall know the agony and the torment of everlasting damnation. Sinners, repent before it is too late. Fall not into the lusting ways of fleshly sin. Avoid the devil's terrible temptations and seek the path of sweetly tempered righteousness. Lust not for earthly riches. Of all the seven deadly sins, the deadliest is greed. Greed which even now draws you to the very gates of hell. Even now, like the children of Israel, you stand worshipping the golden calf. And I say to you, like Moses on the mountains, turn from this house of evil and cast your eyes upward. Upward to the great things of heaven. There are greater things in heaven, Horatio, than mortal eyes have ever seen. Hamlet, Act 4, Scene 1. I, I mean, Isaiah chapter 42, verse 17. Everybody sing. There's power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of a lamb. There's power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of a lamb. Who's there? Come here. I have something for you. Come on. Me? Come on. It's for your own good. I risk my life to get here. Come on. <gasps> I'm sure you understand. My intentions are good. Excuse me. <laughs> Hold this, sister, and lead them, thank you. Make it louder, everyone. Sing out, there is power, power. Everything went perfectly. Come on, hand me the saddlebag. Look, you promised me we'd split the money. That means no tricks. Who, me? Sure, sure. Get down, quick! Open up! The bag is caught! Open it! He sent you so my poor McConnichael shouldn't have to go to a lonely grave without a prayer of comfort for his soul. Just a few words. I gladly oblige, madam, but I was just leaving. I'm not from Springwood, you see. Why don't you see your own pastor? Father Mabry's out of town. Oh, that's a shame. But what could I do? My own flock awaits me, and even now is in need of me. Otherwise, I'd be most honored to do it. Oh, please. Just you listen to me. My job's shoeing horses, and if somebody brings me a horse and says, shoe it, I don't say, now get somebody else. I get my tools and do it, because it's my job. Your job is being a priest. That's what you get paid for, and that's what you do. And if someone asks you to be a priest, you can't say no, or I'll... Hey. Huh? What's happening here? 
<laughs> nothing, nothing, Sheriff. Of course, my son. Bless you. Shall we go? Oh, thank you. Let's go. Forgive them, Sheriff. They mean no evil. Comforting the widow McGonagall when I came up. Something bothers me about his sermon. Hey, they robbed the bank. The bank? Uh, no. Uh, uh, Cleaned it out. Cleaned it out. Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. I come to bury Caesar, not to praise him. The evil that men do lives after them. The good is oft interred with their bones. So let it be with Caesar. Who? Caesar. Caesar. His name's McGonagall. Oh, yes, my good man, I know his name was McGonagall, but the Lord hath given him a new name for his new life in paradise, Caesar. Oh. Um, let us pray. Oh, my dear oh. God, let us pray. So the Get your hands up, young man. No! Ah! Show mercy, Lord. Get me the hell out of here. What's that? Oh, nothing. Now, everybody sing. I mean, wait for me, beloved Caesar. I mean, McGonagall. We'll all be there along. Have I heard Stop right? You, they robbed the bank. Man. That's where I keep my money. He's also got mine. And mine. Oh, 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 Shouldn't leave things lying around, Keen. It's dangerous. What do you mean? I want to know what a bad actor like you is doing dressed as a parson in a town that's just had a bank robbery. What do you mean, bad actor? Well, if you ask me, you're absolutely awful, I'd say. Better than a cheat. Us professionals have to stick together. Yeah? It just happens I don't need another actor in this play. I'm playing this scene alone. Now, look here, Keen. A lot of that money is mine. Is that so? One hundred and thirty thousand five hundred dollars, to be precise. Mr. Clay, I don't know a thing about your money. Now get out of my way! <clears throat> Let's treat each other like gentlemen. Sure. <laughs> This is the only way I can make you understand. <laughs> now do I get what's mine? You son of a bitch. While you hold me here, that other bastard gets away with the money. Get out of my way. Hold it. What other bastard? Wouldn't you like to know? Yes. <laughs> and you're going to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> now will you tell me who the bastard is? Come closer and I'll tell you. Oh! <laughs> Now, 
who's holding all the aces. This is your last hand, Clay. Yeah. He's my last hand. Looks like we agree for once, eh? Looks that way, Keen. I regret this, my friend, but I can't leave any witnesses. Yeah. Now, are you gonna tell me where my money is? I'd like to know that, too. No real priest misquotes scripture. You stand up. Reverend, your prayers won't help you much now. Don't try it, drop your gun. You heard what I said, drop it. It's a watch is all. Watch out, they're cool. They got guns. Here's your... It's only in fun, querida. No, no, it's a sin and I'll have to confess. I had to go to confession five times last month. You know what Don Pablo said? He said he wouldn't give me absolution anymore. Moses, if you come any closer, I'll tell Rosario. <laughs> uh, oh, you have a wonderful smell of almonds. If Rosario comes, you'll be sorry. Oh, come on. Leave Rosario out of this. <laughs> Que mujer, you make me feel hungry, come on. You beast, that's exactly what you said to her. Sure, why, I'm always hungry. For lunch, I have Rosario, and you, you're my afternoon snacks. <laughs> Enjoy your meal. Vida de mi vida! Cheating snake. Oh, boca de mi boca. Ojos de mis ojos! <laughs> no. No. Rosario, no. 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 Stop. Hey, it's not ladylike. You dirty bitch. You bastard daughter of a mangy stinking goat. Mandito. No, no, no. She's killing me. And now, for you, you lying skunk. No, no. Pig. Uh, Rosario, forgive me. Satan tempted me. <laughs> You're my only love. Only you. <laughs> It's not lazy, lad. Eklund. This is the town he told me about. Wonderful. Now all we have to do is find him. He talked about his girl. Rosario, I think he called her. Let's look around, Mr. Clay. All right, I'll go over this way. Don't you remember? You made me lose my head. Yeah, and you smashed mine. Oh. <laughs> hey! Where's my saddlebag? What bag? My saddlebag! But... 
It's Moses. Hello? Anybody here? Say, uh, pardon me, but isn't there anyone on duty in this place? Sure, one moment. Maria! 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 Well, she'll be along soon. Uh, excuse me. Eh? Oh, pardon me. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Say. Senor, where'd you get that jacket? <laughs> you like it? Mm-hmm. Uh. Hey, what's the idea? I heard you calling that little bitch here. You traitor. <laughs> Maria, Maria. I'm going to give you Maria in a head again. I don't want Maria. I haven't got time for Maria. Look, we've got to get out of here. And quick. Hey, wait a second. Why should I? There are 400,000 reasons right here in this bag. <laughs> give me that. Uh, what a perfume. No. The smell Put of it paradise. Oh, right, Pam. Don't start that again. Te quiero, muchachita. Te quiero, te quiero, te quiero. When will you marry me? Whenever you want. Tomorrow. <laughs> Who knows how many women you have said that to? Who? Me? Never. To no one else. I swear it. Huh? Darling. You want to take me away? All right. Mm -mm. Not yet. Get undressed. Hmm? No, wait, Moses. There's too much light. I better fix that. Oh, damn it, he's here already. What is it, darling? I never have any luck. Moses, what's the matter? Are you crazy? Get dressed! You yellow skunk! Oh. I'm not going to let you get away with this. Will you just you don't love me anymore! I get out of this place and quick! Hey, where? Where can I hide this, huh? I don't know. Hold this open. Hurry. Hombre, what a sight. Shh. Espectáculo. Madre. Oh, madre. Now, take off your dress. Darling, at last. You don't understand, but downstairs there's a man with a thief's face. What's he look like? Well, he's got the rotten face of a thief. Ah. Uh, you know somebody with the rotten face of a thief named uh, Moses? Oh, si, si, senor. Men named Moses, I know five or more. Moses Brooks, he left for California back during the cholera. Uh, Moses Montero, he lives in Jacksonville. And then there was someone called Moses the Hunchback, and his son was called Moses, too. And, uh, 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 listen, uh, that's my name. I'm Moses, too. Uh, I think that's mine. Here's the senorita. Huh? Get to work, Moses. I'll wait on the gentleman. May I help you? Fair Maiden, we're looking for a man named Moses. A young man, dark, with the rotten face of a thief. He was due here last night or this morning? The only people who came here this morning were a pair of newlyweds. Excuse me, I'll be right back. Don't let that girl out of your sight. Why? 
That medallion she's got around her neck. The son of a bitch had it on him when I found him. I'll take a look around upstairs. just waiting for you. <laughs> so now we can split 50-50. Sure. That's why you took the window exit. Oh, <laughs> that's because I didn't have enough for the hotel bill. <laughs> Where's the money? Well, you don't think I'd keep it with me. I hid the money in a safe place. Where? Why, if you kill me, you'll never know. So, 50, friend? And 50. All right. Let's go. Hey. You tore my shirt apart. <laughs> All right. You can pay for it separately. I'll pay for your coffin separately. Let's go. in there? Well, if anybody lived there, I wouldn't have hidden the money in this place. Everyone around here is a big thief. Huh? Just a moment. Me first. Don't you trust me? I won't let 
did you get away with it? <laughs> You're the most stupid bandit I ever met. <laughs> you should have talked to Acti. Wigs and grease paint must have suited you. But a bandit needs guts. Not even a hungry like you could cheat Moses. You did your best. <laughs> but Moses has brains. 50-50, ah? <laughs> and now the dumbest bandit in the West is going to be roasted alive in his own juice. <laughs> Terribly sorry, old boy, but this time, it's the cook's night off. Hey, amigo. Don't tell me you believe that. I was only joking. Sorry about that. But now I got a joke for you. Excuse me, senorita. I thought you said you'd be right back. Or am I mistaken? I was only bringing some food home to my parents. I'll just take a look. Oh! 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 What's the matter? The beans. Oh! Oh! Oh, senor! The child is coming! What'll I do? Oh, what you need oh, to do, doctor? Oh, all right, all right, all right. Now pain. you try and relax and I'll try and Let think of something. Go. Relax, I'll think. I can't think of anything. Look, at best I can put a rabbit out of a hat, but I can't, oh. I can't. Where you headed? Home, senor, three miles away. All right, boy. Oh, the oh, thank you, senor. I'll take you home. But listen, that kid's got a promise. I oh, mean, you yes. got a promise to wait until we get there, okay? Thank you. Faster, faster. Hey, hey. Now then, my sweet prince, will you tell me where you put the money? I was robbed. I tell you, this place is crawling with thieves. They took it all. I barely got away with my life. There was Where's the money, Prince Hal? I told you, I was robbed. Right after I left you, I fought like a tiger, but there were too many. Keep it up. Where's the money? Prince Hal? Well, as long as you insist, I must tell you, Rosario has it. The girl back in Hickland? <laughs> well, it's lucky I had my friend keep an eye on her. What? That one's going to rob us. Quick, untie me. Where did she go? To our village. Where? Talk or I'll kill you. If you kill me, you will never know. Ah. This is your last chance, my sweet son of a bitch. Home. 
Are you crazy jumping around like that? Shameless woman, how dare you come to your father's house seven months pregnant? No. After all that I taught you, now look at you. The man that did this shall pay. Who was it? Was it Moses? Oh, Moses, yeah, sure, it has to be mm -hmm. Moses. He must die then. He must die. No, 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 it wasn't Moses. Then who was it? It, it was him. Who? Him there. Who? Me? You're out of your mind. Keep us up. Haven't you seen your sister? Look what she did. And there's the man. Come yourself, Miguel. I'm sure he's going to marry her. No, no, I don't think so. Forget it. Now, wait a minute, fellas. Baptism isn't enough. You want a funeral, too, huh? Stay where you are. Hold it. Damn you! Stop or I'll shoot. Throw him out! Kill you! Kill you! Kill you! Kill you! Kill you! Son, then your sin is that much more unforgivable. Uh, the Lord has been known to overlook love, but not animal instinct. You don't understand. I didn't do it. My son, if you can't confess everything, the lady? Uh, Rosario Fuentes. Ah, Rosario Fuentes, that's my sister. <laughs> you scum, you raped my sister. Huh? <laughs> it's not a family, it's an army. Uh, here you are. Look, Rosario. Virgin white. Unstained. Pure. Immaculate. Not many years ago, your grandmother went to the altar in distress, and so did I. Oh, look, isn't it beautiful? I'll never get it on, Mama. It'll be too tight. Oh, no, it shouldn't be too tight. When I got married to Miguel, I was in the same condition. And so was your grandmother, God rest her soul. <laughs> ah, we poor women. Nothing but victims to every man's lies. And then you're alone. Unless you've got a good father. And now, my sons, are you ready? Si, sí, Papa. Good. My son and priest, the American gringo begs your sister's hand in marriage, coming honorably, spontaneously for my consent, and I ask that you bless their happy union. I don't want him. There. You hear? You hear? Huh? Huh? Oh, you don't know want? Your brothers! And I, too, make sure your honor can stay pure. But do you appreciate it? No, you have no love or respect for your family. I still don't want him. <laughs> the ceremony will be honored by the presence of your uncle, Garrido Lopez. 
Garrido Lopez. Who's Garrido Lopez? He's the finest bandit in the state, the pride and glory of the Sierras. He has a $15,000 price on his head. Ah, truly valuable man. Your Uncle Garrido risks the gallows to attend your wedding, so you're going to marry the gringo. No! Tell me why not. Don't you see? This isn't his. It belongs to Moses. $400,000. Here, I'll show you if you don't believe me. $400,000 that Moses earned honestly in a bank robbery. What do you know? I knew that boy would turn out all right. He's a bigger crook than Garrido. Don't anyone move. It's a happy day, amigos. And no one can say that Garrido Lopez failed to drink a toast to his niece on our wedding day. <laughs> Nobody's marrying my daughter, Garrido. <laughs> Keep us. The groom won't take Rosaria. Rosaria spits on the groom. So then the groom pulls a gun and takes the money which Rosaria says Moses stole and told her to keep. $400,000. What the hell did this gringo take? Money! Was it dollars or pesos, huh? Dollars! And the groom took it? Si. How much of a head start? Keep past you here! Come on, compañeros! <laughs> Your niece had stole the money. Should I kill him? No. He's with the Yankee. He might lead us to the other gringo. Follow them a while. I'd follow them to hell to get 400,000. <laughs> Once he leaves your girlfriend's village, he has to pass through here. We'll wait. Who is it? The porter, sir. Just a minute. Come in. Here's the bag you wanted. Oh, thanks. Here. Oh, thank you, sir. Good day. Yes, sir. May I ask you a question? I just came in yesterday. Is the railroad station very far away? No. Jeremiah Carey, look up. When you're talking to someone, look them in the eyes. Oh, I see. What are you doing here, Jeremiah? You're getting information, that's all, darling. You seem so interested by what she told you. Your husband only asked the way to the station. He's asked three girls how to get to the station already. All right. Now, how about Bill? Good morning. Come on, yes, let's get going. Dear. Pay it. Yes. Wait, but what are I you doing? Looking. Paying without looking? Not of the bill you're not. Give it here. Did you count the bags? Where's the bag with our lunch? Here. Don't you see it? Robbery. Here. This bill is highway robbery. Three dollars and seventy-five cents. You rob your clients blindfolded. We only use the room for a few hours. Come on, pay up, let's go. We'll never set foot in this place again. When does the train for Dallas leave? Around noontime. Will you hurry up? We have only two hours. We'll miss the yes. train. Thank you. Oh, uh, excuse me. Could I trouble you to change that into tens? Certainly. The station is located. But you told me I'm not to speak with a woman. Yes, because I know what you talk about. Is this the right amount? Huh? Oh, Are you just yes, going to stand please. there? Let's go, let's go. I'm waiting for my I'll change. give you your change at home. <laughs> hey. He looks pretty sure of himself. He must have hidden the money already. Where? Mm, maybe with some friend or in the hotel. suitcase. 
case, Clay. Hey, where you been, friend? Don't friend me, my friend. Just leave the money and go. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, wait a minute. What about my share? Well, I figure you took your share already. Only $50. Oh, $50 is enough. Don't you agree, Moses? I would say 50 is plenty. Much more than you deserve. You're Moses, huh? Well, he really does have the face of a thief. All right, now you get on your horse and clear out, Mr. Clay. You haven't heard the last of this, Mr. Keene. Wonder what he meant by that. <laughs> Let's go. Like we agreed, equal shares, okay? Un momento. Carlos Lopez. That son of a bitch, you know him? Yeah, I know him, but I didn't think he knew me. Oh, watch out! You're on them. This way. Come on. I'll cover you. What's happening outside? Who are you? Hide us. This way, caballeros. Get out of coming. Oh! <laughs> 
congratulations. My <laughs> compliments. Uh, where's my bag? Hey, no. You make a mistake. It's our bag. Hold it there. Don't move. Senores, you both make a mistake about that bag. I would say it's mine. I'm sure you agree. Muchas gracias. And now, if I can get it open, we'll see what all that money looks like. <laughs> I'm going to kill the two of you for this. The sheriff is here. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Wait a minute. What's going on? You don't have to get in the Lopez. He went that way. Yes, yeah, right. Lopez. Not for him, man. Right, Son of a bitch. Rotten face of a thief. Us here much longer? I asked the lieutenant, but he says he doesn't know either. Yeah, pretty girl around. The man warms up fast. Age doesn't matter. Jeremiah Carey, let me have that I seat. Say you're only as old but why? As the girl makes it's because I prefer to sit in the middle. Do you mind? Good morning. Good morning. Hello, Clay. How are you? What are you doing here? What do you want? The money. Where is uh, it? I don't know. Ah. I think I know. May I get something to eat? Go on. Open the case. I knew better than to think that you could ever stick to our diet as I do. Yes, thanks. No way. Not any, sweetie. Mm, all right. <laughs> One moment, sir. Let me see that. What the hell you got here? But, Sergeant, I... Uh, Lieutenant! Excuse me. Can you come over here a minute? I tell you this guy... Look at that. Huh? What does this mean? West National Bank? So, Jeremiah Carey, why didn't you tell me that you're a robber? Money to get a girl, is that it? Lieutenant, arrest this man. Follow me. Both of you. Huh? Please, Let me go. Please, Let me go. On, I'm not a criminal. I'm innocent. Take these two to the guardhouse. Don't touch come me. On, For 20 years on. I've been a martyr to this group. I'm innocent, I tell you. After all that trouble... Yeah, we have to start all over again. Yeah, but this time, no tricks. <laughs> right? You better not have any tricks in mind. How can you think that? Oh, no. Oh, oh you are practically my relative. You and I were never related. And don't try anything funny on me. Who, oh, me? No. Look. This one is a lot easier than it looks. Don't worry, it's worth $400,000. How much is in it for me? Hey, didn't I tell you? We get equal shares, okay? You get half of $400,000. What about your friends? Eh, gringos. They get nothing. Sergeant, are the prisoners safely locked up? Yes, Lieutenant, I put on four guards. Good. By the way, I counted the money. You might be right, it could be the Springwood robbery. All right, keep your eyes open. I'm going to telegraph the Springwood Sheriff. Moses just signaled. It's our turn. Sergeant! Attention! 
I'm General Keene. Where's your commander, the ranking officer? He's in there, Lieutenant. I mean, General. Don't be nervous, Sergeant. Hmm. A pretty girl. Carry on, Sergeant. Why doesn't Springwood answer? I don't know. Are you sure they're receiving? Can't tell. Lieutenant! As you were, Lieutenant. I understand that you were the one who uh, captured the man who... Uh, that I did, sir. We've got the head of the robbers in custody. We're taking the stolen property on the train to Springwood. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Thank you, sir. Academy man. Yes, sir. West Point, class of 75. West Point. <laughs> what happy memories. Uh, tell me, your shooting instructor was... Uh... Major Sanders, sir. Ah, Sanders. <laughs> Good old Sanders. We've been friends now for 20 years. <laughs> yes. Tell me, Lieutenant, the money you captured, is it in a safe place? It's all here, sir. Here? Lieutenant, this is an unspeakable blunder. Unforgivable. That old man is anything but harmless. Why, he's the brains behind Garrido Lopez. Why... A hundred uncontrollable bandits could come storming in here at any moment. Well, I... I never thought... Yes! So I see, Lieutenant. Fortunately, there's still time. Take that case and come with me. Yes, sir. Sergeant. Sergeant, open up, please. Yes, sir. Now, I want you to put all your men on guard right here. You're in full charge of the men. No one is to leave his post unless he has express orders from myself or the lieutenant. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Follow me, lieutenant. Yes, sir. Good. Excellent. Now, put the bag right over there, lieutenant. This place looks strong enough, seems secure, and easy to defend. Now, we can all relax. Yes, sir. You two by this door. You two on that side. Another two there. You men go around to the back door. Moses said to surround the station and be ready to fight the soldiers. Looks like we can handle them. Yeah. 
muchachos! Yo, P, everybody! Come on, Jose! Celebration. The game isn't over yet. No worry. Hey, come here. Hostess! Hey, Uncle! Down here! Wait a minute! Run, Uncle! Ah, let's go! And take it to the hideout! We we'll wait for you there! Follow us, Moses! Looks like we lost some men. See, how many? Oh, it must be at least a dozen. Mm, that's a pity. With more men lost, each more money gained. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought I lived to see four hundred thousand. Open the bag, Garrido. Just a minute. <laughs> Come on, muchachos, get your money. <laughs> Bastards. Lousy stinkers did it again, and this time they shall die! I'll kill them, all three of them! Almost! I swear I'll kill all of them, that rotten Moses, he betrayed me, my own relative, almost! I'll kill them! We'll be getting to town soon. And if I'm seen with a pair of thieves the likes of you, then who'll play cards with me? So? Let you and I stop, divide the money, then go our separate ways. Oh, that's all right. That's all right for me, too. Oh, ooh. Well, what do you know? For the first time, we three agree. The bag. Who'll divide it? Hey, get your Lopez. Vamos. Let's go! Don't let them get away!
We've got to get to the river. Without getting finished off. Look here. This is no time to smoke, Mr. Clay. There's smoke and there's smoke. Look, Carino! They're getting away! I know where they'll go! You take the road! Hey, go this way! Hey, 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 hey. We'll cut the ropes when we get to the other side. Let's go. Dorito! Quick, we'll go back! Don't shoot! I want them alive! And don't let anything happen to the suitcase! Vamos! Fool! Oh, Muchachos! Fool! Fool! game is over. Yeah, that's the end of the show. The curtain's down. You, where are you headed? Oh, guess I'll head up the river. You never can tell. Good, because I'm going in the other direction. And if you ever see me again, make believe you don't know me, because you don't bring me luck. Hmm, likewise, I'm sure. Amigos, well, gentlemen, Moses is fed up with both of you, too. 
Hasta la vista, amigos. No, hasta la vista. Goodbye. You and your damn suitcase. Small ones, ah! blonde brunettes! Oh! 